Hi, welcome to a tutorial from Start PHP. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can import large uh, SQL file from command line in Windows, let's say to WAMP server. Let's get started with this. If I show you here the green, this is running. All of the services, the green shows it is running, and my SQL is also running this arrow shows everything is okay if i go to my php my admin root here are my databases clicking in here clicking on the database let's create a database test one i call it test one create so in this test one we are going to upload our uh, file from command line now click start and then type cmd command as soon as you type cmd command prompt will show up right click and run as admi administrator now as you can see the database was called test one we have to know your, the location of your um, WAMP server and in my computer here if I go to E I have WAMP folder inside this I have installed my WAMP and here are the files inside the binary is my SQL you will find Apache my SQL and my C MariaDB and PHP we are going to go to my SQL here and inside this it, you, you could have multiple version and this is 5.726 as a, at the moment and then another folder and inside binary there are all executable files including my sql.exe which we are going to run so this is our path and i'm bringing it here so you can see it at the top let's see how we can proceed first let's go to e i type colon uh, e colon and i'm now in drive e cd and then wamp after that, I can use it. I'm typing backslash and pressing the tab key. The tab, you will see all the files will show. I can continuously pressing tab, so you see binary, and then put backslash. And now if I press again tab, I'm not typing anything, my SQL, and then put backslash, you will see that. And then again, put another backslash, press the tab again, it will type it for you binary and now this is the right folder you see here and i'm pressing now enter so i'm inside this folder if i type dir i will see all the files related to that type cls clear screen it will clear the screen from previous value I here we can type my sql if i press tab.exe backslash u and then we have to say the username root and then just press enter without anything now we see the mysql command prompt at the bottom here and then type use we will type the database name and then enter it says database changed I'm, I'm going to import this country underscore list dot SQL source e temp country list dot SQL and then semicolon that's very important at the end and then press enter as you can see query okay it shows all the queries if the file is very long it will take a little longer depending on the number of query and now let's let's go here to test one and as you can see that we have the country opportunities and all these countries have been imported Now let's see the list of tables. Now let's import this country.sql source e colon q 
Query 250, OK, record added. To see the list of tables, we just say show tables. And as you can see, it shows these two new tables that I have added. To quit, just say exit. You will exit from my SQL and it says bye. Now you are out. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as you will get updates of my upcoming videos.